I've got a kit to unbox today. So I'm going to get right into that. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll open the box and then pop right back on. All right, here I am back. I ordered this kit from McPherson Crafts. And I didn't know that uh, I was racking up points with McPherson's. Not McPherson's. Sorry, my mistake. You can get points with McPherson's. I ordered this kit from Irresistibles. And I'm, I have points. You can get points with the Irresistibles and McPherson Crafts. And after so many points, you, you know, you get, a, you get so much off your order. So I didn't realize that. But, yeah, this baby came from McPherson's. This is where you can follow them on face. Uh, why do I keep saying McPherson's? I am so sorry. It is Irresistibles. I normally order all my kits from both, but, yeah. Okay, Instagram at Irresistibles uh, underscore Reborns. And Facebook at Irresistible Reborn Doll Kits. And they even have a TikTok. And, um, yeah, make sure you go check out uh, all the authentic kits that you can order from their website. Uh, and you can paint, and I they carry paint and hair to root and all that stuff. So, uh, <laughs> I can't believe I keep saying the wrong thing. But here we go. <laughs> I am... I got... The Melissa. I had to because my name's Melissa. So I had to, of course, get the Melissa sculpt. I've been following this sculptor and I love her artwork, number one. And I've been following her for a little while and I've been following this baby while it was in clay and I couldn't wait till it got into vinyl. I see a couple channels have already uh, gotten some of the prototypes and whatnot. Congratulations. Uh, but um, here is the COA. This is a big COA. This is wonderful. Look at that. There's only 800 of this kit worldwide. And I wanted to, of course, jump on that. So thank you, Irresistibles, for carrying it because McPherson's was sold out. So Irresistibles.com still had some of these kits left. So if you're looking at this kit, I suggest you get it because it's... um. There, it, it's a limited, it's a limited edition and a low number, I think. So, I love all the little prototypes there. Decided to paint my own. Oh, wow, look at this gorgeous belly plate. Look at that. Look at that little belly button. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful little belly plate. I'll look at the little face now it doesn't have eyes so just just so you know there's no eyes in there i have glass eyes on uh that i'll put in of course and i'm all finished painting look at that baby oh sh she's precious she's like a just waking up newborn baby just looking around at everything love the ears all those neck rolls. Look at that cranium structure. Look at the detail of the um, skull. Wonderful detail. So there we go. Oh, I'm excited to see the little hands. This is a bigger baby than I was expecting. I would say around the size of twin A, twin B. Bigger than Tink. Um, twin A and Twin B by Bonnie Brown and Tink by Bonnie Brown is what I'm comparing to. Um, she's bigger than Tink by Bonnie Brown. but um, And she's a little bit bigger than Twin A and Twin B. So I would say she wears newborn. You know, small newborn. Look at these gorgeous hands. Such long little hands. Such detail. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? I'm so excited to paint this little one. I don't know if I'm going to paint her right away. 
because <laughs> I'm impatient. Or um, if I'm going to paint a few more kits and kind of get the hang of air dry before I paint her. I think I want to paint a, a few cheaper kits before I indulge on painting this sweet baby. I love the way this pinky is. Love that. Look at those beautiful hands. So real. I love it. I love this baby. Little Melissa. Huh? Hi. My name's Melissa too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Alright, let's look at these gorgeous legs. This is my favorite. The way the leg positioning is is my favorite. We've got one scrunched up leg. Look at those precious feet. So we've got one scrunched up leg here. And one stretched out. And I love that. I love the stretched out leg. I love the combination of one stretched and one bent. Oh, my niece always did this. And when I sculpt, I add this detail as well this little pinky look at that i don't know if my camera is focusing that little pinky out there oh gorgeous look at those leg rolls so beautiful what a beautiful beautiful sculpt i don't know if i'm going to attempt to say her name because I really don't want to. It's Vivian. Okay, let me see if I can get. Um, she's um, Brazilian. And um, she's been a part of Realistic Baby Dolls since tw 2008. She's been a reborn artist for six years. And dedicating herself now to sculpting. And this is her. And her name. Vivian. I don't know how to say her last name. But she's beautiful. Isn't she? Look at her beautiful hair. And uh, you can follow her right here. That's where you can follow her. And then it talks about the creation of the Melissa sculpt. How oh, cool. Let's read about that. There were three intense months dedicated to the creation of baby Melissa. I was inspired by photos of newborn babies whose wrinkles and folds are, stri are striking features present in their limbs, hands, and feet. Melissa has an adorable and delicate face that speaks more than a thousand words. Don't you think? I hope you can feel all my love that was placed into every little detail of this creation. I'm looking forward to seeing all the amazing versions of baby Melissa. Wow, wonderful. And it's there's a seal here. And this is a big COA. This is one of the biggest COAs I've ever seen. And uh, stickers and all that. It's so cool. And I got number 277. So that's my number. And this is the body that came with her. It's just a doe sway body. I love that it already has zip ties running through. It's got a gathered chest and a gathered tushy. It's in a lovely suede flesh material. Love that. And so, yeah, that's little baby Melissa. And I can't wait to bring her to life. I don't know if I will be doing a boy or a girl. I think this sculpt would be cute as both. I haven't seen a boy yet. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. She looks just so sleepy, huh? Aww. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's got such a cute belly. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll do a boy or a girl. I do like my boys. I definitely see this kit could be a boy. But since it's... The same name as me, I might do a girl, you know. 
she's so cute. I love her skull detail as well. I don't know if I want to even root hair or not because um, I don't want to take away that skull detail. It's got like a little soft spot there and everything. All right, well, I am going to let you all go. Thank you for watching me unbox a new kit to my little stash. Don't worry, it won't be too long. I hope that I will paint this baby. But I think I want to get a few more practice in before I indulge on a more expensive skull. But you never know with me. I might just surprise you and this might be the next baby I go for. Because uh, it's hard to wait. <laughs> All right, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope you enjoyed watching me open up Vinyl Doll Kit Melissa by Vivian Ali Hula is what I want to say, but I know I'm butchering that last name. I'm sorry. But, yeah, go to uh, irresistibles.com to get the Melissa sculpt. Don't delay, because there's only 800 and they're already sold out on McPherson's. So, last time I checked. All right. I'll talk to you all later. God bless you. Bye-bye.